Rook-like games where you fight hordes of enemies, level your character, build stupidly strong builds that pop off over the time. A fear that a few people have is that the game does not fulfill their expectations. So what's about the new game Deep Rock Galactic Survivor? Rock and Stone! Let's surely start with the fact that the game is recreated by the original Deep Rock Galactic, which has been called the best cave co-op FPS game in the past time with over 200,000 overwhelming positive reviews on Steam. Deep Rock Galactic Survivor is just no more an FPS co-op game, instead it is a single player survival like auto shooter, where you beat enemy hordes, dig materials to upgrade your weapon and your draft and get through the deep dark horrifying minds of creatures. So what makes the game different to other games like that? First of all the map in general. Every mine system you start in is randomly regenerated so you never play in the same mine again. Additional to that I told you that you dig materials. You can also abuse that to get yourself through walls and make yourself a new path and with that kinda recreate the map. This is definitely a mechanic that you will need to survive in the game. Next we have that you not get only experience for killing enemies you get from completing missions and mining materials, which for some characters are more effective, especially in the beginning of the game. This game really wants you to find a juicy sweet spot between being a greedy dwarf and Song Jung Woo from Zolo leveling. Great anime, by the way. If you didn't look at it, you should watch it. And if you don't have any idea who the fuck is that person, it's basically a person that gets stronger by killing by enemies. Uh, so yeah, you, you, you have the option to be a greedy dwarf, digging materials or being one who just kill a lot of enemies, but in the end, trust me, you, you, you have to find a good sweet spot between because focusing only one won't get you anywhere. The game has been released just yesterday on the 14th February and with that there came the form classic classes from the original DRG, which is Deep Rock Galactics for everyone who doesn't know it. But they added characters mods, so every class can be played on three different playstyles and you can choose how you want to play this character. And also, every class has its own type of weapon, so every character really kind of feels different. Speaking of weapons, I'm not talking here about every single weapon that exists, because I could do probably a 20 minute video about that. So in the background you will see a few for each class. And maybe important to know, you can equip up to 4 weapons in a run, but you have to reach specific levels. So for the second weapon you have to be level 5 in the game, for the third weapon level 15 and for the fourth one level 25. A future guide about what seems good on which character will come in the future, so look out for this soon. Then we came to the biomes. The devs did start with three biomes, but they did announce that already they want to add more biomes coming soon. Those three biomes have their own twist. The first one, called Crystalline Cavern, is actually there to introduce you into the game's mechanics. So it's basically a tutorial biome where there's nothing that much special. Magma Core is the second biome where hot stones gonna roast your toes. So be careful, but they also deal damage on the enemies, so you might want to abuse that. There are also explosions plants which deals a lot of damage and impact the other plants around them as well so they make a huge explosion and they also deal damage to you and the enemies. The third biome is Hollow Boo or however you pronounce it, sorry I'm not an English native speaker. In this biome there are a lot of plants and the rare one is actually something you can't dig so you have to be careful to not be trapped and might die there. No, I'm not talking about personal experience, nah. I, n I never died. Victory. But the grey ones are actually plants which you can dig away and they're gonna grow after a time back so it might be useful to use them to get away from enemies and they have to get through that. And some enemies just can't do that. I told you you can earn experience through killing enemies and also through completing missions and mining materials. When you reach a new level you can upgrade your weapon. After it once hits level 12 you can get overclocks in the following runs so you want to make it in the beginning as soon as possible to make the game easier. What are overclocks? I should talk about that in another video too. If I uploaded this already you will see here on the top right the video linked. But to give you a shortly overview about what overclocks is, it's basically like I said, after you hit once level 12 and then following run you can overclock the weapon on level 6, 12 and 18, which allows you to also change the mechanic of a weapon. So for example, it's not a kinetic weapon anymore, it will be an electric weapon. And with that you can recreate a totally new build for a character for example. With level up you can also upgrade your mining speed, movement speed, HP, your luck 
and specific damage classes. Oh yeah, damage classes. I didn't just talk about that right now. Each weapon has also its own classes, which can be upgraded. So going for the same classes can be very useful to upgrade all four weapons with just one upgrade. For example, all your four weapons have projectiles. All your four weapons are kinetic, in, uh, kinetic weapons. All your four weapons have to deal with fire and so on. So later you just want to go for fire upgrade. So all four weapons get upgraded with just one upgrade. Here's also uh, in the end a list which kind of new things gonna come soon because the devs already announced a lot of new things. They want to add new biomes. They want to add also new overclock upgrades and artifacts and so on. And if the video is already uploaded because it's coming after this one, then click right here on this video to see beginner guys if you are new to the game. Have fun with that.